Pattern and acrylic templates for this project are available at fisherworkshops.com. Find tools and supplies for this project at my online shop at the link below. Here you'll find a variety of recommended tools and products for each project that I hope will make it easier to find the materials you need to get started on your project. All products link to popular online marketplaces such as Amazon and eBay. Become a patron member of Fisher Workshops to receive great discounts, perks, and opportunities to win some of my handmade goods. To learn more, please visit my Patreon page listed here and in the description below. With your support, let's continue to make it possible to bring great leathercraft content to YouTube. In this video tutorial, learn how to make my flip open leather card case with magnetic lock. A printable PDF pattern for this project can be downloaded at fisherworkshops.com. Subscribe to Fisher Workshop's YouTube channel to get our latest video releases. Please help spread the art of leathercraft by sharing Fisher Workshop's tutorials online. I hope you enjoy the tutorial and thank you for watching. Use a scratch awl to trace the pattern onto the green side of the leather width, then cut out with a sharp knife. I made several versions of this card case, one with a lining and one without. To apply lining, first apply contact cement to the lining and leather pieces and fix together. One of the benefits of adding the lining is that it helps to strengthen the edges of the leather. The lining will help to keep the leather in form so that the case doesn't lose its shape. I also feel the stitching adds to the value and beauty of the finished products. Now cut away the excess lining. When you fix the pieces together, make sure the bottoms are as even as possible. This will be very important later on when it comes time to drill the stitching holes. I'm not punching all the way through the leather since I'll be drilling out the holes later on.
Now I'm using a Dremel drill press to drill my stitching holes with. I like to use waxed linen thread for several reasons. One, I think it looks a little nicer than nylon thread and it can be stained to a different color should I prefer. I use a little glue to fix the cut end of the thread into the leather. Use an edge beveler to bevel around the exposed part of the leather hinge. Apply a little water to the edges and burnish. Apply contact cement to both the interior and exterior components and fix together. Again, make sure that the layers of the leather line up evenly along the exterior edges for drilling later on. Repeat the same process for the upper piece.
I used the smallest drill bit available in the Dremel line to make my stitching holes with. As you can see, the holes have pierced nicely through both ends, and now we can stitch together. Now both ends are finished and stitched together. Sand any remaining uneven edges down, apply water to the edges and burnish. Notice the case is now brown. That's because this video was shot using footage from three different card case projects. For this hole, I used the largest drill in my Dremel line. Now screw in the D-ring buckle with screw in the hole we just drilled.
Don't be surprised if this produces a little smoke. That's normal. There's still a little bubble of elevated leather in the center of the circle. We'll remove it later. Roughen one side of the magnet with fine sandpaper and apply contact cement and fix to the case. I see it in your eyes Yeah, I can read the signs You need to get away It's time we make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in Visit my new Facebook group, The Art of Leathercraft, and get to know the leathercrafting community. Just living.